Hello everyone, I'll be making a public server with this tiny chip and we will be able to control these two LEDs from any part of the world. This is the LED setup which we are going to learn and this is the website through which we can control it. See, now for the yellow LED, yeah, that glows now. Now I can turn it off, the red goes off and same for the yellow. Um, yeah. Be with me on this video and we'll also see how to publish this website which we saw with the help of ngrok so that we can access this website from any part of the world. Now the project which I demonstrated you is an example of IoT which is also which stands for Internet of Things. So what is Internet of Things? It means when any physical object, any physical object connects to the internet. You can take the example of Alexa. It connects to your internet, to your Wi-Fi. And then you can play, let's say you can play any song with your voice command or maybe you can uh, use it as an external speaker with your mobile. So this is what Internet of Things is. Now in this project we are using ESP32 which acts like a web server which is connected to my house router and even my laptop which is a client is also connected to, to my house router. So what happens this ESP32 is hosting a particular website. This control panel through which we are able to control the LEDs. So I am accessing this website with the help of its IP address. This IP address which you are able to see it is the IP address of ESP32 and not my laptop. So basically it becomes a connection if you see. This is my laptop and this is the ESP32 and this is the router which acts like a middleman. And now if I expose this IP address and I, I share it to a person who, who does not belong to my house and has not connected to my to my internet router then even he will be able to access this website and he will be also able to control the LEDs. Now let me show you the circuit. So in our ESP32 from the GND pin there is this green wire which is connected to the positive terminal of this breadboard which is connected in a vertical series. So from here there are two 2.2k uh, arms resistor which is also connected which is connected to the LEDs in a horizontal uh, series and from D27 and D26 of ESP32 we have two wires which is also which is connected to the uh, positive terminal which is connected to the positive con terminal of the LEDs if you can see here. I will upload the circuit diagram in the description. Now, this is the code which we will be uploading to the ESP32. Before that, what you need to do is, I will I will provide you the code in the description. So, you need to replace, there will be a section in the, the second or third line. Yeah? And here you need to re, you need to use your Wi-Fi. You need to put your Wi-Fi credentials. Here. So, let me put mine. and the password done now in this part of the code it, it publishes it publishes the IP address to the port 80 and here it sets the pin to 26 and 27 which we did and this begins the serial setup uh, the serial monitor in this baud rate 115200 and in this part of the code, it will it will confirm that your ESP32 has connected to your Wi-Fi. And this is the main backend. So what happens when you when you press on this button, a function is called. And according to that function, it sets the it sets the state of your LED to high or low. So when it is high, it glows, and when it is low, it turns off. And this is the HTML page. If you want, you can customize it according to your need. And when your client, when your device closes your closes the website, uh, the serial monitor will print client disconnected. It means 
the device has logged out successfully. Now we need to upload the code. Make sure your board is selected over here. If you find any difficulties or any error, then you can Google it up and you can resolve it by yourself. Or you can also ask me in the comment section and I will help you accordingly. Pod rate. Now we go to the simple monitor and you can see here uh, Wi Fi connected and this is the IP address. This is the IP address of ESP32. Now uh, you copy it and you paste it on your browser and you can see the website. Now uh, through it, now through this website, you can control, control your LEDs. Now I have opened the same IP address on my phone too. And it is connected to the same internet if you look closely and now i can operate i can control my leds so when i turn it on the red led glows and when i turn the second button on the yellow led glows and i can turn it off at the same time i can turn it off too now i know this is an extra step but now we are doing port forwarding we are forwarding this particular ip address we are exposing this IP address so that people outside can also access this website and can uh, will be able to control our LEDs. So in our previous video, we talked about NGROC. So we will, we will be using the same concept over here. NGROC HTTP, this IP address with the port for call in 80, enter. And now we have successfully Put forwarded it and this is the public url now you copy it and paste it yeah so as you can see here this is the public url and we are accessing the same website but with a different url which is which is now public now let's see a live demonstration of this now as you can see here i'm almost 100 meters away from my house and i have opened the nbrock link over here and if you look closely, it is not connected to the same Wi-Fi connected with the ESP32. So when I turn it on, you will be able to see that the L red LED is glowing. Now the yellow LED is glowing. Now the red LED turned off. And now the yellow LED turned off. So this was it. I hope I could demonstrate the project well. Please do try and let me know in the comment section. So this was all from Priyam. Thanks for watching.